you ever wonder what's in your favorite food? Well, one way to find out would be to look at the ingredients list. Like, take this pudding for example. Here, we can find on the label that it has water, milk, and sugar, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Or these marshmallows, they also have water and sugar. But did you know that these two foods have more in common than just water and sugar? In fact, they had the same thing in common as this salsa, and this glue, and this wood, and this shampoo, and this doctor, and this baby food. Everything you use, everything on earth, everything in the universe is made from one thing, atoms. Jill Sal the Science Gal. Jill Sal the Science Gal. Jill, 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 Jill! Jill Sal the Science Gal. Matter is the stuff that makes up all the other stuff in the universe. Anything you can see, feel, smell, taste, is made from matter. The smallest piece of matter is an atom. Atoms look all front like this. Or at least a half an atom. See all these black dots around here? Represent electrons. Now electrons are a constant movement orbiting around the central nucleus, which is what I am. So here's our model of half an atom. Well, it's only a half, so let me just, uh... So here's more of a whole atom. It's about one-twelfth the size of our original jungle gym. But atoms are even smaller than that. Atoms are even smaller than this, this little tiny dot. They are so small that you could fit 10 million of them lined up end to end in this little tiny millimeter. 10 million, that's a lot. And just think, if there are 10 million atoms in this little tiny dot, how many would there be in this amount of space? Or this amount of space? Or this... Not all atoms are alike. There are in nature more than 90 basic elements, which is science term for families of atoms. To scientists, the atoms of the individual atom families, or elements, are identified by number. That is, the number of protons, or positive charges, in their nucleus. And they vary all the way from hydrogen, which has just one proton, to oxygen with eight protons, to gold, he's rich with 79. These three containers have the exact same stuff now. H2O, aka water. They're just in different states. This is because atoms are in constant motion. Now fast they're moving will determine the state of the stuff. In this container, we have solid water, ice. Now its atoms are very closely packed together and are barely moving at all. They're really just vibrating. So it's really hard for it to change shape or volume, unless the temperature changes. And here, we have water vapor, which is the gas version. The gas atoms move really, really fast, and they're bouncing on the room right as we speak, because as I let this expand out, the volume expanded. Now liquids are somewhere between solids and gases. The atoms move enough for it to flow with its container, change its shape, but not enough for it to change its volume. Liquids are things like... Juice. Meh. And soda. Other stuff, like the fuel you put in your car, vegetable oil, and maple syrup, vinegar and soy sauce, ketchup and mustard, and water. Vinegar is something you can try at home, and it appears to change states right before your eyes. It's called oobleck. All you need to make it is one cup of water, one and a half cups of cornstarch, some food coloring, and something to mix it in. So first, I will add the water. And now 
food coloring is optional, but I like to make mine purple. So I will take the blue and the red and add a couple drops. a lot of fun to play with. But the coolest part about it, you slap it and it's momentarily solid until it turns to a liquid. And you can scrape up a piece and form it into a ball. And it's like a solid, right? But then you let it run through your hands just like a liquid. Yay! Just think of all the stuff matter makes. It starts really, really small with atoms and atoms come together to form elements. Elements bond to form molecules, and molecules help form cells. Cells group together to form tissues, and then tissues come together to form organs. Organs help form organisms, which create a population. Populations are sustained by ecosystems, and ecosystems help form the surface of the Earth, which is a planet, which is part of the galaxy, along with the stars. And then there are millions of other galaxies in the universe similar to this one. And all of that is because of matter. And that's why matter matters. Why can't I get this point? Yeah.